Pablo Flores for the next fight. Promotions and BIB, the best in boxing, present this encuentro pactado a seis rounds in the division de peso ligero. Six rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces: Sergio Lechuga, Carlos de la Rocha, y Jesse Hernández. And your referee in charge. Su referee para este combate: el experimentado Juan José Ramírez. Introducing the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with black. He officially weighs in 135 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul con pantalón de color plata con negro, con un peso de 135 libras. He stands with nine professional bouts, eight victories, one lone defeat, and five of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de ocho victorias, una derrota. Y cinco de esas victorias por la vía del knockout de la tierra del tequila, Guadalajara, Jalisco. Daniel, el güero, a Costa. And he's a born across the ring, standing in the red corner, wearing the Mexican colors, green, white, and red. He officially weighs in the same 135 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo los colores mexicanos, verde, blanco y rojo, con un peso idéntico de 135 libras. En six professional bouts, he stands undefeated with six victories, no defeats, and four of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de seis victorias, cero derrotas, y cuatro de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. De la bella Cenicienta del Pacífico, Ensenada, Baja California. José Karma Alvarado. And now giving the final instructions con las indicaciones finales, su referí Juan José Ramírez. Six rounds, seis asaltos. Vamos a una pelea limpia, vamos a respetar la regla. Si un peleador cae, que el cine neutral, que yo les enquimique. No, no hay que golpear al rival después de caído. Esa es la mano sanada. Y vamos a decir. Dios lo bendiga. Tres, dos. Fuera segundos, todo abajo, segundos. Just a, a quick fun fact. If you guys ever wonder why the fighters turn and point to us, to take a picture um, before the fight, that's actually for a uh, box wreck just to know that the fights actually happen, right, Dylan? <laughs> That's right. That we're working. Pro proof. <laughs> Prove it. Now, Jose Karma, this is an exciting fighter. There is a reason why he's uh, in the main event of the free fights. It's uh, He's a real composed technical fighter. He, he actually had two Cuban fighters before um, his trainer here in Tijuana. And his, his favorite fighter is actually Miguel Cotto. Uh, we were commenting yeah. on that, uh, his previous fight. Yeah, I, I recall that he was wearing the, 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 the white pink. shorts with pink trim. You know, making him stand out. And a good body shot landed there. Wow, and another hook landed there by Alvarado. As Acosta bringing the pressure. Good work for Weddle Acosta uh, using that jab and keeping that pressure on, on, on Karma. You definitely can't let him uh, get comfortable in there. But Alvarado is doing a good job of countering Acosta's shots right away. You can see right here who has the more technical boxing skills here. As Acosta just kind of kind of bringing his, bringing his front foot, I mean his head over his front foot. Right, not too much technique. That's why Alvarado is able to counter, and he's doing a good job of it. Yeah, and Guero's trying to land that big, big left hand. Yeah, Guero's just kind of just throwing. Not too much, not too much technical skills. But eight and one, five knockouts. You know, you, you got to give him his credit. You got to give him his props.
Bueno seems a bit uh, hesitant. His corner is urging him to, to be more precise, to pressure more, to be to be first. That's why they what that's what they are shouting him on Acosta's El Güero Acosta's corner. You know, Güero doesn't have as uh, as extensive of a amateur background as as uh, Karma. You see Karma uh, just real calm, you know, staring his opponent down, throwing that stiff jab. Um, it's probably going to take Güero a couple rounds to get uh, comfortable in there. I don't know how comfortable he's going to get if Alvarado keeps landing those straight right hands to the chin. You're right on point. And once again, it's the fact that Acosta, you young fighters out there, Acosta's head is over his front foot pretty much the whole round. As we close the first round of the final bout for our free live streaming, um, if you guys want to catch the rest of the card, uh, please do so at bestinboxing.com, uh, 999 pay-per-view. Guys, it's cheap for the high-quality fights that you guys are going to get. You're going to get five, five action-packed bouts with a special attraction exhibition bout between a rematch, Manuel Mantecas Medina and Alejandro Cobrita Gonzalez from a bout in 1995. I'm excited. That's the one I'm excited Me too, about. Man. That's Me the too. one I'm excited about, guys. I'm still. Um, I know I've I've already shared this with you guys plenty, but I want to watch it. That's it. Definitely. You know something of with this fight. I think this is the first round that does feel like a, a fill out round. The very first time. It, it, yeah, it, from it the first calm. three bouts that we had, and this is the, being the fourth. Uh, yeah, that was probably the most feel out round that we've had in this whole card. But nothing negative, you know. Um, we see Acosta, Alvarado going, back. Doing, we see Acosta right going back in there with the pressure. And a good shot landed by Acosta. Slight return by Ooh, Karma Alvarado. By Karma. And, and now a little bit more effective pressure by Acosta coming forward. Maybe I wouldn't throw that uppercut from such a distance, but it seemed to work for Acosta. I like how Karma is so composed. He seems sure of himself as he waits for Acosta to pressure him to counter with the, the right hand or the left uppercut. Yeah, very good base by Alvarado. Here. But uh, Acosta keeps coming. There's, there's really nothing that uh, Alvarado good has Good right done. hook by Acosta. Putting on the pressure. Acosta is no joke. And you know what? The, the fact that Acosta is a southpaw um, may take Karma a little bit to, you know, get used to. It, it might give him a, some trouble. Well, I'm sure he knew he was fighting a southpaw, sparring with southpaws. Um, I think they're at the level now, you know, close to double digits for the amount of fights where, where you know who you're fighting, or at least the technique um, that they have. Are they orthodox? Are they southpaw? So I'm sure he was ready in training camp for the southpaw style. Seems like he is. What are the main things that a fighter should be concerned? What are the basics in order to fight a southpaw for the first time? What would you say, Chris? Oh, what I would say is, you know, keep your left foot on the outside of his lead foot. Um, it's something that's taught to everybody. Um, and that right hand is going to work. But just the same thing for them. You know, keep your, your lead foot on the outside of their lead foot and keep throwing that left hand Manny Pacquiao style. It's, uh, it's a never ending battle there. It's one of the first things that you're taught. Keep that foot on the outside. And they're, they both fight for that foot position. Yeah, you see them jockeying for position. Um, throughout the Ooh, huge right hand. Good right hand for Karma. As Acosta went in, the right hand right in the middle. Yeah, but it, it didn't seem like it, it, it was enough to keep Huero Acosta off of him. This guy just keeps coming. Uh, the fact that his 
head is over his front foot, doesn't seem to phase him. Good round. That was a good, good. round. High action, action round. Picking up. You know, um, like I mentioned before, uh, Karma's coming forward looking real calm, but Acosta's still doing damage, you know? Uh, I mean, uh, Karma is, is, is uh, walking backwards doing damage, and Acosta, he's walking forward and not always landing as stiff punches as Karma. So it's going to depend on the judges how, how they score that round. Yeah, and on that, how would you score it? Huh? Absolutely. As we go to our unofficial sc scorekeeper, uh, Gerardo, how do you have it in these first two rounds? As we see the replay, Chris, I'm having this far two rounds for Karma uh, and 0 for El Guero Acosta. That's 20 to 18. How many chelas so far, Gerardo? Oh, 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 I'm definitely giving 2.5 chalupas this far. 2.5. 2.5. Chalupa meter. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not bad at all. And want to remind everybody at home, make sure you guys um, tune in to our pay-per-view here tonight. Uh, we're, we're teasing you here with these four bouts, you know, um, back and forth action in all four bouts. We had a couple quick stoppages. We have this fight heating up here. Um, I'm excited for, for the pay-per-view portion of the evening. And also guys, September 19th, pay-per-view, 599, Boristeca boxing card. We have Kevin Torres versus Jose Cueva Sr. We have 16 and one versus 13 and one in our main event for September 19th. So uh, another thing to, to look forward to there, we have a WBC World Youth title fight between uh, Brennan Macias versus Carlos Mini Lopez. We got records of seven and over, so good over and over. And that's coming to you September 19th. Best in boxing, Boristeca boxing promotion. You see Weddle, uh, you know, keeping busy and keeping that pressure on there, but I would like to see him be more intelligent with it. I, I want to see him use some feints. He's walking forward on Karma, and Karma's waiting for it. And that's why he's he's able to stay calm and counter whatever uh, what Alcosta is throwing at him. Just yeah. like that. Just like that jab. Karma's doing a very good job. Alvarado is just countering like he did there with that sharp. Right hand landed on the dome of Acosta, but Acosta just keeps charging forward. Acosta is tough, and he's having, I think, his best round as he gets punched with a huge combination for Karma. Uh, I think he's having his best round uh, this far. He's having his best round, but Alvarado still landing the hardest shots. Gerardo, like, it definitely. It it Karma is cut. Slight cut on the... And that's <laughs> on the top right of, of uh, Apparently Karma's was eyebrow. Headbutt. Was it? What, what you saw, guys? What you see? It seemed like a headbutt, and it always happens when you all, when you have a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. You know, their heads came together, and a good hook landed there by Alvarado. Still fighting on the back foot, still landing hard counter shots, but now with blood coming from his right eye, how's he going to take it? You know, it doesn't seem to be a lot of blood, but that blood starts to go into your eye, Chris, and it, 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 it starts to bother you. And we'll see how the corner is able to handle the cut on the right eye of Acosta. And speaking of the cut, Chris, th that reminds me of the last card Toscano had here where we, we talked about what the other opponent is thinking when you see a cut because um, uh, with Beltran and Sosa, you have to get the doctor involved. So now it's, it's round four of a six round fight. If Acosta can keep targeting that cut and force uh, you know, the, the, the doctor to come in and check it. As we see, you're right Dylan, as we see um, the corner working on the cut of Jose Carma Alvarado, it doesn't seem too much of a factor yet. 
uh, what would you say, Gerardo? I think it's a huge target for El Güero to punch on and to aim, as we don't see that being much of a problem. I think the corner men did a good, good job on the cut, but let's see how Güero Acosta manages. I think that's a huge uh, bullseye for, for El Acosta, Guero. you're correct. Jose Alvarado seems a little calm coming out, not too in distress because of that cut, landing a hard counter hook. Good body shot by Karma. Good combination by Acosta as well. Karma bleeding from the nose. And oh. another sharp counter by Alvarado. And the corner of Acosta pleading with him to just walk forward and throw punches. And that's what he continues to do, despite the fact that Alvarado keeps landing hard counters. Oh, huge uppercut. Nice uppercut. Nice uppercut. You see Acosta getting real comfortable in, in, in the pocket and just staying calm and landing those hard punches. And this might be the first time that Alvarado is walking he Acosta might. down. But right as I say that, Acosta just charges back forward and throwing hard shots. You Maybe not necessarily landing too much. You see the tight guard of Alvarado. And with, with Acosta, he has his guard open, landing those shots. And Alvarado is doing a, a, an amazing job at targeting the middle that's wide open with those uppercuts. He's caught him with a couple, and every time his head goes, just pops back. So we do know that uh, Karma Alvarado's favorite fighter is Jose, uh, Miguel, Cotto. Miguel Cotto. I was gonna say Jose Angel, his brother. Uh, but Miguel Cotto, and he, we, we mentioned last broadcast that he kind of has the style, and we see it now, the way he's countering these shots, sitting on his punches. Am I wrong, Chris, or is that a, a cut on the left side of his eyebrow, or is that just blood? You know what, it's kind of hard to see right now. Hopefully our cameras can get in there. And good head movement there by Karma Alvarado. And it seems as though Acosta's finally running out of gasoline a little bit. You know, maybe not. Oh! <laughs> and it seemed like a knockdown. The referee counts it as a slip. But I believe a shot was landed and a hard shot. Alvarado coming forward thinking he has his opponent hurt. You see a Costa standing in front of him trading, but he doesn't have the same stance as Alvarado, where Alvarado is sitting down on the punches, hard, stiff punches. And Acosta has more of a style where it's uh, stick and move, stick and move, but staying in there. Yeah, and, and it goes back to what I said at the beginning of this fight in the first round, where his head is over his lead foot. Young fighters, if you're watching this, your head should not come over your lead foot. You're off balance. You have no power. You're not effective. And Karma Alvarado doing the right moves. He's doing everything good. Best in Boxing presenta Una Noche de Peleas Increíble. Big punches being landed here on the phone booth on the inside. He continues to pour it on, does high miss. Oh, yeah, two made look like he's out on his feet. Bar fight down goes Rosas. Oh, he's a big shot there. Ramos now. Oh, Forcing to cover up. Not looking good. Ramos contra Villalobos. Best in boxing pay per view. En vivo este 5 de septiembre. 6 p.m. Pacifico. 9 p.m. Este. Entradas a la venta. Ya en bestboxing.com. And there's a little promo from the truck for our Spanish listeners, Spanish speakers here. Bestinboxing.com coming to you live from Tijuana. Good stiff right by Karma. Good combination by El Huero, huh? Yeah. 
I think that's that is what he has to do. Uh, El Güero's best bet this far is throw combination. Wouldn't you say, guys? I, I would agree with you because he's he's standing in front of him and uh, he doesn't have the right stance, like Chris was saying, to throw those hard shots. So his his uh, his his one chance is to throw those multiple punches and move. Do not let Alvarado land one of those hard punches. But he's keeping busy, and that's good. And good stiff jabs by Alvarado. Nice head movement. You see Alvarado throw that uh, that right uppercut when Acosta leans in. And he seems to be waiting for it. Yes. And just a Definitely. few seconds ago, Alvarado landed a good left hook right hand, but Acosta just keeps coming forward. Ooh, nice combination by Karma. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And he keeps going back to that well, and Acosta does not have an answer, but it doesn't seem to face him. I'm not gonna say Alvarado doesn't punch hard because we've seen him hit hard before. Acosta just seems to have a granite chin. Or as my, my guy have Dylan, the trademark, the trademark. My guy Dylan would say he has a golden chin. A golden chin. The golden chin. It goes with his hair, so it's kinda funny. <laughs> And another hook landed by Alvarado, but Acosta cannot. I mean, excuse me, Alvarado cannot get Acosta off of him. Doesn't matter what he lands, doesn't matter what he throws. The output is definitely on Acosta's side. Yeah, definitely. Alvarado is landing though, the, the, the thudding shots, the more controlled boxer. And you have to think, Chris, because we have mentioned, uh, we've talked about this before, where one fighter's coming forward and he's putting on the pressure, he's throwing multiple punches. Uh, he's, he has more of an outcome uh, on the punches, but Alvarado is just is smooth, just calm, and countering, intelligent. That's a good way to put it as he evades two hard shots from Acosta and sweeps them into the corner. Wow, that was, that was, that was a good fifth round by Karma Alvarado. As we go to the unofficial score of this bout. Well, Fernando. I'm having it this far, 50 to 46 for Karma Alvarado. 50 to 46 for Karma Alvarado. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is El Karma, the long due debate, right? Chris, Dylan, which do you go for? Volume or effectiveness? If you go to effectiveness, that would be for karma all day long. But what about volume of punches? El Güero has, has had his share. So, so we have to score the effective. That's what professional boxing is as we see it here in the replay. Effective shots landed by Alvarado. And like you mentioned that one, two, one, two, and he kept going to that well. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what professional boxing is about. Hard shots. You know what? You know, and um, who would you off. rather be? Would who would you, you rather? rather be? Who would you rather be? Like my man Gerardo said earlier in the broadcast. You know, it's a good way to put it. Giving most of the rounds here to Karma Alvarado, as he continues does Alvarado to just slip, slide. All of Acosta's shots. You know, and, and uh, I want to go back to mention the fact that he had Cuban trainers because you see that it, with, with the one two, just like uh, Rigo Dell, one two in, one two, and moving around. The slip, the slide, very smooth. The calmness as well by Calma, Karma Alvarado. Good work by Acosta keeping that pressure though throughout the whole six rounds. Tell you what, he has heart and he has endurance. Yeah, you definitely have to give him both those uh, traits, the heart and the endurance. 
but that's about it, man. <laughs> He's getting quick. Over and over by Karma Alvarado. Karma sitting here waiting for an opening to throw that huge uppercut. Perhaps that one-two combination that worked very well for him during the last round. Good left hook by Alvarado. Solid left hook. And, and it seems like he's finally wearing down Acosta as Acosta's not walking forward. He's still throwing punches, but getting hit in the process. And, and this is a good learning boxing fight for Karma Al Alvarado in his young career. Six and oh, four knockouts with having such a tough guy in front of him in Daniel Acosta. Golden chin. Golden and, chin. And, and, and you yes. see the difference in the power with the with the left hook of Karma versus the right hook of Acosta because Acosta has landed that right hook over and over, but not to the to, to the to the power that um, Karma has. You know what I think it is, Dylan? I think the fact of the cleanliness, the way Alvarado lands it over Acosta is, is what plays here. It goes Acosta. back to the stance yeah. that, that you at, mentioned before. Look at that form. Beautiful boxing, guys. Guys, this is, this is the epitome of what a, a boxer should be. Head movement, hard shots, combinations. Look at that. Evading every single shot thrown by Acosta and countering. Does, does Karma Alvarado. As he closes the show with a hard right overhand right, landing to the dome of Acosta, closing off the free session of Best in Boxing. Guys, tune in tonight for bestinboxing.com for the pay-per-view portion of the, our telecast. Let's take it to the judges. Damas y caballeros, este combate ha sido la distancia de seis rounds. Por lo tanto, nos vamos con la decisión de los jueces. After six rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. But before we go, a big round of applause for both fighters. Un fuerte aplauso por ambos peleadores por este gran combate. Judge, el juez Carlos de la Rocha, he scores at 59 to 55, 59-55. Sergio Lechuga, he scores at 60 to 54, 60 a 54. And Judge Jesse Hernandez, he turned in scorecards of 58 to 56, 58 a 56. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision, su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime. Ensenada, Baja California, El Karma, José Alvarado. As José Karma Alvarado gets the victory here tonight. You know, and it's, 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 it's funny, the, the judges had the scoring kind of how we did. Yeah. Except for one at 58 to 56, as we get a a replay from from the truck of just the the exciting back and forth of both fighters. But Jose Karma Alvarado landing the harder shots, pretty much the story of the fight. You know, you had the volume by Acosta, but Alvarado just landing the much better shots on the inside, on the outside. <laughs>